What we have here in front of us are two soil core samples from a local Arizona golf course. These core samples are from sand-based greens with Bermuda grass. One of the challenges that golf course superintendents face, uh, especially during the summer months, is getting water to penetrate the thatch layer, which can be oftentimes highly hydrophobic. Therefore, getting the water into through the thatch layer and into the soil can be challenging. On the right we have water and blue dye and on the left we have water, blue dye, and Humagrow Surf Max which is our soil surfactant. What we will show is water without a surfactant, water with a surfactant, and how the water performs when applied to a Bermuda grass green. Notice how when the water hits the thatch layer because it's hydrophobic and we're using only water, how the water simply runs off. Now on a golf course, what you'll see is on the high ground, this water, this will create dry spots and create puddling in lower ground, which also leads to water waste. And no matter how much water or how fast you pour, it does not infiltrate the thatch layer. Now we're applying Humagrow Surf Max, and notice how it's infiltrating the thatch layer. That is what surfactants do. They help reduce the surface tension of water, therefore infiltrating the thatch layer, penetrating the soil core, and also provides lateral movement of water, which will therefore lead to no dry spots at high ground, no puddling in the low ground, and conservation of water. We can just keep pouring, and it's going to go right in.